Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame, and welcome back to No One But You. Last part we left off was we entered the classroom. So let's get right to it. I just can't wait for this game. <coughs> Alright, so it's room 102. This should be it. Just as I thought, just as that thought crossed my mind, the door to the room in question opened. Oh, it's the girl with the pink hair. Twin tail girl, which... <laughs> good morning! <laughs> uh, good morning. You're the new student, Hideki, right? Yeah, that's me. So this is the right class after all, huh? May I come in? Not so fast. You still have to stop by the office first. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know. Jeez, don't have to get like a... All rude and pouty-like. Come with me, I'll take you there. I'm Megumi, the class rep slash student council president. Student council, huh? Nice to meet you. We both started walking towards the office. So what brings you to this school? I don't mean to be nosy or anything. Y you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Uh, no, it's okay. Why is Megumi blushing? That wasn't an unexpected question, let alone a personal one. Let's just say that my mom is really spontaneous. Ooh, that must be fun. Not really. This is the first time we actually moved on a whim. She just likes to go on these weird little trips every now and then. Yes, very weird trips. You don't look so good. Do you need to go to the nurse's office? I'm fine, I was just recalling some memories. Best left forgotten. Sounds scary. Here, I'll put you in a better mood. What you gonna do, huh? Before I had time to react, Megumi embraced me. What? What is going on here? I already thought this girl was a little off, but why would she hug me as someone she just met? Megumi let go of me while blushing, then backed away a little bit. Sorry if I made you uncomfortable. No, not at all. Well, honestly, it was a bit awkward. But who in their right mind would complain about a cute, busty girl hugging them? Anyway, here we are! I have to get back to class now, so you need to enter by yourself. You just have to do some paperwork, so it shouldn't take long. Uh, sure. As she walks back to class, Megumi swayed back and forth a little. Yeah, that's right, she wants you looking at her, buddy. Did that really just happen? Meeting a family friend on the way to school is one thing, but being hugged out of nowhere by mere minutes after first meeting someone? Moreover, Megumi was one who hugged me, so why was she acting all embarrassed? A friendly girl like her probably hugs everyone, right? Huh? Forget it. Let's just put this paperwork done so I- Let's just get this paperwork done so I can get to class. Man, Hideki, you're w smoozing up the ladies. Shouldn't take long, she says. Honestly, I got up early for my first day of school, and yet I didn't even attend class today. I guess that'll teach me to be so motivated. Speak of the devil. What's with her hair? Hey, Hideki-kun! Megumi ran towards me, jumping around like a puppy greeting her owner at the door. In fact, she kind of reminds me of Hachiko. Heh, <laughs> maybe that's what I should call her from now on. Hikun, are you ready to join any clubs? Straight to the point, huh? I don't think so, I've never really been interested in such activities. What? Really? Hmm. For a second there, it looked like Megumi's ears dropped down. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, nothing. I just remembered a joke. Hmm, so I'm thinking that she's a... I don't know what to think of this game so far. I guess I could give... I could try giving it one shot. Do you have any sh suggestions? I'm so good at English, you guys. You could join the student council. The student council, huh? Wait, what? I can't just join the student council on my first day. It's fine. We're short on people, and we would love to have you. 
That isn't the kind of thing that you should decide for yourself. I haven't even met the others. Wait a minute. Is that why Megumi's been acting so friendly towards me? Has she been trying to manipulate me from the very beginning? Using her feminine wiles to lure me into her servitude? Look at this vocabulary. No, no, that can't be it. It's far more likely that she just fell in love with me at first sight, right? I mean, come on, come on. Right? Well, it's not like I have any particular reason to refuse. The second those words left my mouth, uh, Megumi perked right back up. I'll think about it, okay? Yes, absolutely. I won't pester you about it anymore today, so make sure you give it plenty of thought, okay? Sure, crazy. Okay then, my quest shall continue tomorrow. Bye bye, Yikun! Megumi waved goodbye and walked away cheerfully. That girl sure is something. I managed to escape in one piece this time, but something tells me I'm going to be hearing a lot more from her in the future. On my way home, I decided to take the long way around, so I could pass by the bridge again. As I was walking alongside the road, I noticed the same girl from this morning, standing at the same spot. Oh, it's her. Her name was Chinatsu, right? Should I? Of course I'm going to talk to Chinatsu. Started walking towards Chinatsu. Mind if I sit down? Oh, Hideki, not at all. Hmm, Chinatsu seems a little down. The view sure is breathtaking. Looks like the sun is hiding inside the river. It's a pretty sight. I've lived here for years now, yet I still haven't gotten used to it. Used to what? How beautiful all of this is. Would it be cheesy to compare Chinatsu's beauty to that of the scenery? Given my jokes from earlier, I might really be classified as a stalker. Even so, I probably should say something. Quack like a duck. Make an excuse to leave, start a conversation. <laughs> what? Start a conversation. Maybe I should try talking to her. Say, what do you like to do around here in your free time? I like to read and swim. Other than that, nothing really. Video games? Uh, if you asked me that, I'd go on a whole rampage of how much I love video games. Um, no, not really. I'm not interested in such things. Oh well, worth a shot. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that you had a club meeting this morning. Yes, I'm in the literary club. Why not the swimming club? You said you like to swim, right? I only like to swim for fun. I don't really like competitive sports. That's the opposite of me. I love competitive sports. I'm with you there. How are you supposed to enjoy yourself if you're always fighting someone for the top position? That's the joy in it! Fighting for the top! Yeah, that's what I like to think as well. Chinatsu and I continue to speak as we sat there looking at the sunset. It's getting late, isn't it? I should be heading home now. Thank you for keeping me company. No problem. Chinatsu stood up and fixed her clothes. I'll see you at the school tomorrow. With those parting words, she waved goodbye and walked away. Oh, Chinatsu-san, you're so cute. Even after Chinatsu had already left, I sat there looking at the view for another few minutes before thinking about leaving. I suppose I should head home too before Mom thinks I've been kidnapped or something. After all, she always has been overprotective. I stood up and started heading home. Hope you guys like my voice improvements. <laughs> I think they've gone pretty swell. Oh, my beautiful home. Oh, I missed the first thing. I'd hope we could talk a little, but Mom seems busy and I don't want to disturb her. I suppose I'll just see what she made for dinner instead. Mmm, fried fish. It'll do, I suppose. I grabbed the dish and took it up to my room. My awesome freaking room that I'm so jealous of. I want that room so bad. I changed my clothes and sat down on my bed, searching for some way to kill time before bed. Should I play a video game? That's what I ask myself every time. Should I play? No, I do, and then I don't go to bed. No, forget it. After the weird day I've had, all I need is a good night's sleep.
<coughs> Sorry, still coughing. The boy walked into the river with gentle steps. A cold sensation rushed throughout his whole body. Inside the deep, cold river he went, as it covered him up to his head, drowning, slowly sinking into the darkness. Jeez. Thirsty Thursday, you guys didn't hear that? Thursday. <laughs> April 12th on a Thursday. What is she doing here? Good morning, Aki! Already? I haven't even started monologuing yet. Wait, that's not the problem here. How does Megumi know where I live? G good morning, Megumi-san. I wasn't expecting to see you so early. Do you live nearby? I live in the apartment complex a little bit further down the road. Oh, there are apartment buildings down there? Yep! Gosh, every word Mukumi says is filled with excitement. You sure seem energetic this morning. I'm just ready for an exciting day, that's all! You don't say. La 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 da 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 da! <laughs> wow, excited and tone deaf are not a good combination. On the other hand, it is kind of adorable. What, that she sucks at singing? <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? Oh, I just remembered that joke again. You and your jokes, if they're so funny, why don't you just share them with me? I'd rather not. Oh, you're no fun. At least I'm not a stalker like another certain someone. Though Chinatsu might say otherwise. Forget it. Let's just hurry up and get to school. The class rep shouldn't be late, you know. Oh shoot, you're right. Let's go. Oh, I have weird girls with ears and pink hair following me. After being dragged all the way to school, I followed Mugumi into our classroom. As we entered, however, I could clearly hear two people arguing. Good morning, everyone. Despite the tense atmosphere, Megumi greeted the class completely unaware of her own disastrous timing. Hmm. Uh-oh. Without saying another word, the brunette girl stormed off. I wonder what that was about. It's not my... I'm just gonna stay in class. No, I'm sure it's nothing. I should just stay in class. Hmm, I wonder what's up with Yui. The brunette girl who just stormed off? Yeah, that was uh, Yui Komatsu. She's always been like that. She usually just skips class, as you've just seen. I see. Anyway, forget about that. Come sit next to me. The seat's empty anyway. There goes Hachiko again. Is Megumi this chummy with everyone, or was my love at first sight theory not so crazy after all? No, no, stop it, Hideki. You barely know this girl. Change the subject before you accidentally propose. So her name is Yui, huh? She seems like an interesting person. That's just how Yui is. Ryo enjoys making her mad. Ryo? That guy over there with the annoying smile? Oh, I was expecting Megumi to see something negative about the guy. Maybe she isn't as nice to everybody after all? Either, what, either that or this guy is a real piece of work. What kind of voice should I do for this guy? Hey, new kid! Oh, the annoying smile guy is calling for me. Should I ignore him? Hello! Go away, go away, go away! Can you hear me? This guy doesn't know when to give up, does he? I guess I have no choice. Yes? That's me, friends! Uh, what? Me and you, friends, what do you say? I ignore the guy and he wants to be my friend? This guy seems way too pushy or maybe just desperate. You don't even know who I am! Well, you seem like the kind of guy who knows his way around the ladies. I mean, this is only your second day here and you've already tamed Megumi. Excuse you! No, I meant that as a good thing. How can I possibly interpret what you just said as a good thing? Uh-oh, this could be trouble. He's already chased off Yui, I don't want Megumi to run off too. Better change the direction of this conversation before these two get their claws out. So, uh, you say you want to be my friend because I know my way around the ladies, but you weren't getting along with that girl Yui had just a minute ago. If you call getting smacked on the head getting along, then sure. Smacked on the head? What could you say to the guy mad? 
No, I, that I couldn't guess given how quickly he pissed off Hachi. Nothing really. Yui actually transferred here last week, but every time I talk to her, she seems to get mad. You got that weird smile, dude. Maybe you shouldn't say anything to upset her. Didn't say anything this time. Well, Megumi said you enjoy pissing her off. And I get the distinct feeling that everything this guy says pisses someone off. What? Megumi, did you really say that? Isn't it true? No, I don't enjoy doing that. I'm not a jerk, you know. But uh, you are a jerk, and we are going to save that. Overriding my save. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really enjoying this game. And I really hope you're enjoying my voices because it's kind of putting a strain on my throat. But that's okay. I'm really enjoying it. So my narrator voice is this voice. And then Hideki's is a little bit lower. And then Ryo's is kind of like this. And then uh, his mom is kind of like this. And uh, uh, Hachiko, or Megumi, is kind of like this. And Chinatsu is kind of like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!